Today we're going southwest to County Kerry, where one of the worst reprisals in Irish history took place, known as the Siege of Tralee. Following the death of Lord Mayor of Cork, Terence McSweeney, the IRA and Kerry were the first to hit back at the Crown forces. On the 31st of October 1920, the night before Kevin Barry's death, the Kerry IRA shot 16 of the Crown forces, killing 7 in total. The RIC, Black and Tans and Auxiliaries went on a 10-day shooting rampage in County Kerry. They went through the town of Tralee, burning buildings, shooting civilians and looting houses. On Monday, the 1st of November, a group of civilians going to mass were beaten and shot. The Tans and Oxys then forced all businesses to shut, leaving the people of the town to starve. For the next few days, the Tans sped through the town, shooting carelessly. They even fired pot shots at farmers working in fields and ended up killing one man. On the last evening, an IRA volunteer, Frank Hoffman, was stood against a fence, bayoneted and shot. The New York Times even reported on the terror inflicted on the people of Tralee. The siege of Tralee really opened the world's eyes up to the absolute horror that was going on in Ireland.